All right, today we're going to look at changing base. And why do we need to know how to change the base? Well, go to this lesson, lesson number 13, and if you look at the end of the problems that you're going to have to solve, you can see here that, um, that the base has an 8, that this base has a 7, this base has a 3, and um, some of your calculators actually don't have uh, the option to changing the base. Actually, I know that the... Um, I'm pretty sure that the that your calculators on your on your cell phones don't have that option. Some of them do, I, I suppose. But um, <clears throat> how can you figure out what this logarithm is if you only have the log function, the regular log function, which is log base 10? We're going to look at that in this short video. I'm also going to explain to you guys what ln means, and then how you can use the change of base formula in order to uh, rewrite these logarithms. Um, and these, uh, these problems right here are just extensions of what you guys did in lesson 12. So you should know how to already do these. The difference between these ones and what you've already done is that these ones use the natural log, that's the ln, instead of uh, log base 10, which is what you're used to. So the first thing I want to show you is not what they're talking about, whoops, it's not what they're talking about right here, <clears throat> um, but just a simple change of base formula. So I want to show you that log base 2 of x, so any, anything inside of log, any base, but you know in this case I'm going to use a 2, equals log of x divided by log of 2. And the 2 matches up with whatever the base is. So... <clears throat> We're going to say that L equals log base 2 of x, and we're trying to show that L also equals log of x over log of 2. So let's just start with this guy right here. So in order to make this guy look like that guy, <coughs> we're first going to rewrite this in exponential form. So the base is 2. The power is L, and that's going to equal X. Now, if we wanted to get the L out of the exponent, what we would do, or what we could do, is we can take the log of both sides. So now we have log of 2 raised to the L equals log of X, and that L would drop down to multiply to log of 2. Then you guys know that in order to get the L alone, you would divide by log of 2 to both sides. And there you have it. <clears throat> Whenever you have this, you can rewrite it with as this ratio. This ratio is called the change of base ratio. So let's uh, look at an example. We'll just do one example right here uh, on B. So for this problem, if we wanted to rewrite this using the change of base ratio, we would say this equals log of 3 to the second power over log of 3. Um, this 3 is this base right here, and this 3 uh, raised to the second power is that 3 right there. For this one, it would be log of 3 to the second power over log of 2. This 2 is that base, and this 3 to the second power is that 3 to the second power. Now, if the problem is asking us to finish this or to find an approximate solution, you would just have to plug in to your calculator log of 9 divided by log of 3. This one would be log of 9 divided by log of 2, and that would give you your approximate solution. The second one would equal 3.1699. But the first one actually is an exact answer. You get 2. So go ahead and try that in your calculator to see if it works. The next thing I want to introduce you guys to is ln. So we know log base 10 of x. We normally just write log of x. We don't write the 10. There's another log 
that has a base e. Now e is a special number, kind of like pi, how pi is a special number. Pi approximately equals 3.14. e is also a special number. e approximately equals 2.71. <clears throat> but we don't normally write log e, just like we don't normally write log 10. We normally write natural log of x. The reason why the L is first is because it's Latin. Latin normally says the, the noun first and then the descriptor right after that. So this is called natural log of x. Natural log of x behaves just like log. But the neat thing about uh, natural log is that you can also do the change of base ratio with it. So instead of using um, log, you can say natural log of 3 to the second power divided by natural log of 3. So you would get natural log of 9 on top divided by natural log of 3. And this one right here would be natural log of 3 to the second power divided by natural log of 2. And if you plug these in your calculator, you'll see you get the same results. You'll get 2 for that one. Three point one six nine nine. So now you know what natural log is. Now you know what the change of base formula is. Uh, I want you guys to give the assignment for lesson thirteen a shot, and um, I'll I'll answer any questions that you guys have on Friday. Okay, here's your assignment. It's on this page right after the lesson summary. Um, my page says eighty six, but I think yours is. 85. So I want you guys, this would be assignment 38. I'm sorry, 37. <clears throat> S 85, I think. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. Um, yeah, so there's just a couple of problems in there that you guys skip, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to be giving you guys credit for this, uh, depending on how much you guys have finished.